Hello and welcome to G Fun Facts Online. Imagine for a second that cartographers, people who make maps, announced tomorrow that they'd discovered a brand new continent hidden in plain sight. It sounds impossible, right? We've mapped the Earth. We know what's out there. Well, in the world of biology, something just as incredible has happened. Scientists have just discovered a completely new part of our own cells, a tiny structure that's been operating right under our noses this whole time. It's called the hemifusum, and it's not just a new name in a textbook. It's a discovery that could rewrite our understanding of how life works and how we fight some of our most devastating diseases. Now, finding a new organelle, one of the tiny organs that keeps a cell running, is an incredibly rare event. We're talking about a field where we thought we had the basic blueprints figured out. It's like an architect finding a secret essential room in a building they thought they knew completely. This tiny structure, the hemifusum, seems to be a cellular recycling and cargo management center. Think of it as a sophisticated loading dock, ensuring all the packages inside the cell get sorted, processed, and thrown out correctly. Its discovery is giving us a completely new lens to look at the fundamental housekeeping that keeps us alive. So how did they find this hidden continent inside the cell? The story starts not with a direct hunt, but almost by accident. Dr. Sehem Ibrahim and her team at the University of Virginia were studying the cytoskeleton, the scaffolding that gives our cells their shape. Using incredibly powerful microscopes, they kept noticing a strange, recurring structure in their 3D images. At first, it could have been dismissed as just a glitch, an artifact of the imaging process, but it kept showing up, consistently. That spark of curiosity led to a collaboration with Dr. Bachara Kachar and his team at the National Institutes of Health, who specialize in ultra-high-resolution imaging. Together, they confirmed it. This wasn't a glitch. It was a real, previously unknown part of the cell. They named it the hemifusum a name inspired by its unique shape. It's made of two balloon-like sacs or vesicles that are partially merged in a state of hemifusion. This state itself was a huge deal, something physicists had theorized about for years, but had never actually been seen in a living cell. As Dr. Ibrahim said, finding something truly new inside a cell is a rare event that opens up entirely new worlds of research. Why was this hemifusum hidden for so long? The answer lies in its nature. It's incredibly small, about 100 nanometers wide, and it's very delicate. The old ways of looking at cells using traditional electron microscopes often required chemical treatments that would have destroyed this fragile structure before anyone could see it. The key to unlocking this discovery was a revolutionary technology called cryo-electron tomography, or cryo-ET. This is some seriously cool science fiction stuff made real. Scientists take cells and flash freeze them so fast that the water inside doesn't have time to form damaging ice crystals. It turns into a glass-like solid, preserving everything inside the cell in its pristine, natural state. Then, they take thousands of pictures from different angles and use a computer to build a high-resolution 3D model. It's like having a superpower that lets you peer inside a cell as if it were made of glass, without disturbing anything. This technology was the only way to see these structures that, in the words of Dr. Kachar, were completely invisible with conventional microscopy. So, what does this thing actually look like up close? Thanks to Cryo-ET, we have a detailed picture. Hemofusums are surprisingly common making up about 10% of the bubble-like vesicles at the edge of the cell. As I mentioned, a hemifusum is two vesicles joined together by a flat patch of shared membrane. This patch is way larger and more stable than anyone thought possible for a hemifusion state. The two vesicles are usually different. One is larger and filled with grainy material, a bit like the cell's storage containers, called endosomes. The other is smaller, and looks empty, suggesting it contains a dilute liquid. And here's where it gets really strange. At the rim of the connection point, every single hemifusum has a tiny, dense particle. 
about 42 nanometers in diameter. The researchers have called this a proteolipid nanodroplet, or PND, because it's made of both proteins and lipids. This PND has never been seen before in this role, and it seems to be the critical scaffold that holds the whole structure together and maybe even kicks off its formation. This is where the discovery goes from cool to revolutionary. For decades, cell biologists had a pretty solid theory about how cells clean up their own waste. The process involves creating something called a multivesicular body, or MVB. Think of an MVB as a cellular garbage bag that gets filled with smaller bubbles containing trash, like damaged proteins. This garbage bag is then sent to the lysosome, the cell's incinerator, for destruction. This cleanup process is vital. For years, the textbook explanation was that MVBs were formed by a complex protein machine called ESCRT. The ESCRT machinery would grab the trash, bend the membrane of a larger vesicle inward, and pinch off the little trash-filled bubbles inside. It was a well-established protein-driven process. The hemifusum throws a massive wrench into that story. It suggests a completely new way to make these MVBs, one that doesn't need the ESCRT machinery at all. The researchers propose a new model. It all starts with that weird little proteolipid nanodroplet, the PND. This PND seems to trigger the formation of a small vesicle on the side of a larger one, creating a hemophilus. This structure can then flip, so the small vesicle buds inward. Eventually, it pinches off, becoming a little bubble of waste inside the larger vesicle, which has now become an MVB. This is a lipid-based process, not a protein-based one, and it solves a long-standing mystery of how cells could form these structures without always relying on the complicated ESCRT system. To prove it was a separate pathway, the team used tiny gold nanoparticles to track the normal path of materials into the cell. The gold showed up in all the usual places, but never inside a hemifusum, confirming it's part of its own, unique system. Okay, so we've got a new organelle and a new cellular pathway. Why should you care? Because many diseases are, at their core, problems with cellular housekeeping. When a cell can't take out its own trash, things go horribly wrong, and the hemifusum is a key player in that system. The researchers immediately saw a potential link to a rare genetic disorder called Hermansky-Pudlak syndrome, or HPS. This disease causes albinism, bleeding problems, and a fatal lung disease. At its root, HPS is a disease of vesicle trafficking. The cell's internal shipping system is broken. Since hemifusums are all about creating vesicles and sorting cargo, it's highly likely that defects in this new pathway are involved in HPS, but the implications don't stop there. They extend to much more common conditions, like neurodegenerative diseases. Take Alzheimer's disease. We now know that one of the earliest signs of Alzheimer's, long before symptoms appear, is a massive traffic jam in the cell's waste disposal network. Neurons struggle to clear out toxic proteins like amyloid beta, this is fundamentally a trafficking problem. The discovery of the hemifusum opens up a breathtaking new question. Could a faulty hemifusum pathway be contributing to this deadly traffic jam in the brain? Could we find a way to fix it, to restore the cell's ability to clean itself up? This discovery doesn't just add a new part to the cell map, it opens up a whole new frontier for medicine. This entire story is a beautiful testament to scientific curiosity and collaboration led by Dr. Siham Ibrahim at UVA and Dr. Bachara Kachar at the NIH, along with their brilliant teams. But as they all say, this isn't the end, it's the very beginning. Now that we know hemifusums exist, the real work starts. Scientists need to figure out exactly what proteins and lipids they're made of. How does the cell turn their formation on and off? And most importantly, how exactly are they involved in diseases like HPS and Alzheimer's? The discovery of the hemifusum is a powerful reminder that even in the 21st century, in the supposedly well-mapped territory of our own cells, 
there are still profound secrets waiting to be found. A tiny, previously invisible recycling center has just opened a new door in our quest to understand life itself. And the next chapters of its story are guaranteed to be just as exciting as the first. Thanks for listening to G Fun Facts Online.